we're renting a house and I'm going to document some of the things that are annoying about it. This is not going to be a fun series of videos for you to watch. Thing number one, I'm too short to use, at five foot nine, I'm too short to use the oven. What did these? That must be fun, right? Thing number two. Food waste incinerator. No thank you. Thing number three, and I appreciate this is a strange thing and I'll probably grow to love this. There are lots of good things about this kitchen. But this cupboard door, when I open it, all of the food starts coming out at you. And it's just really intimidating. I can't really, I can't really capture this, but it's just, it scares every time I've opened it because I'm not expecting anything in the cupboard to be moving. It, when, it, when it's coming towards me, I'm like, whoa, all my spices. Um, yeah, you'll just have to visit so you can be scared by this because it's not really that scary on Instagram, <laughs> I will concede. Built-in coffee machine. Thanks guys. We already have one of those and it's a pavoni. This giant American fridge is absolutely sick though, I love it. And it is safety glass on all levels. Okay, I'm nearly done with the things that annoy me about this kitchen, but there's one more thing. No bins anywhere. The lighting is better downstairs, in particular in do, do, do. The wet room. Wet rooms are shit. They're, they're a false economy. You think that's fancy, but it's not. It just means you didn't have a bathroom big enough to enclose all of the wet into one place. So now, when I shower, after anyone's showered, if you need to use the toilet, you're going to get wet feet. Sound good? I didn't think so. Now. Leaving that aside, there's one other massive, massive niggle with this room. It's maybe even too big to call a niggle. I don't know, I feel very strongly about it. I'm gonna show you a toilet now. So if you're eating, skip the next one. Sorry, Instagram crashed and I forgot that I'd left you on a cliffhanger and went back upstairs to like, change my uh, banking address. Uh, <laughs> We'll get to the toilet now. As I was saying, the toilet. Here she is. I put the lid down for the more sensitive among you. But look at that. It's like a, it's like a full inch of porcelain that my doughy thighs are going to have to touch if I want to comfortably sit on this toilet to do any kind of business. I don't know if you've noticed, but all business now happens in the home. It's a pandemic, so I'm not going to be able to have a relaxing shit, or we, until we've moved, because every toilet in the house has this problem. I don't even know how to fix it. This is the wrong toilet seat for this toilet. Can you see me? physically aging as I do these videos. The incinerator's already blocked. Surprising no one. Anyway, Lackey's gonna have to Oh he's got the he's got the plunger. I'm sure this is all fine. This is all fine. Um the thing I actually hopped on here to show you is niggle number a million. Um it's this this is our bedroom, very messy, full of boxes. Um, here we have a door into the back garden. And um, to get out of it, <laughs> I was gonna climb out, but it actually seems really dangerous because then I just leave this open. Um, but there's Mama Habby's. 
Hi, how are you? Uh, and there's the drop. I think that's about four foot. So, it's not ideal. Into Edith's room. Uh, two things I hate about this room. Only two. Firstly, spooky, filthy under, under stair cupboard that doesn't have a door. Charlie crawled in there and just started eating bits earlier when I wasn't totally on top of things. Why couldn't you clean that before we moved in? Um, also, obviously, door into the back garden, complete with cat flap, right next to Edith's bed. Edith's bed, slightly too big for this room, that there is nowhere else to put it but here. Um, let's go out. Do you know what I love? Going outside to access the washing machine. <coughs> Bear with. Did it. So there's that. We also put a load of our stuff in there because we didn't, um, it doesn't have a shed. There's also some, some old, somebody, somebody else's socks. This is actually just built up against next door's wall. Oh, yikes. Anyway, the washing machine looks new. Presumably because it keeps getting really, really, really mouldy and they keep having to replace it. Here we are in the garden. Which is just, just sort of grim. Um, there's, the, there's the door into our bedroom convenient. Um, there's this really mysterious piece of astroturf here which I don't I don't want to know why they've done that. That seems very strange. Um, it's a bit of decking here. Inside the decking. Loads of trash. This house is actually on the market so if anyone wants to buy it swipe up. Uh, it's not really, this isn't really spawn, um, but you can message me and I will send you the deets. Um, you, you, you could live here. I mean, not with my stuff and my family, so actually even better. Okay, that's it though. I'm done now. I'm done. Um, 24 hours of niggles. There are other things, but those are the main ones. Um, there's supposed to be a glass panel there, but it fell out. Covering our floor in, broken glass. Is that a good thing to have on the floor with kids around? The other panels are also loose. Our landlord says they can't be loose. They're glued in. But I live in this house and I've wiggled them. They are loose. While we're here, the landlord did pop round at the weekend to pick up some post. And I asked him what his job is because he said he was on his way into work. And it turns out his profession is kitchen designer. He seems to know a lot about the door construction, which makes me think that maybe he built the doors himself. And maybe those doors are in other properties, which would be bad news for him because they're not safe. Anyway, I've said we can whack some wood glue in there if he wants, but I feel like whacking some wood glue in there was how we got to this place in the first place. So maybe someone should do something a bit more competent. 
it's moving day. Finally leaving this house that I hate. I've had some good times here, mainly taking the piss out of it, but now it's time to go. Um, I'm cleaning it. I hate it so much I don't think it deserves a professional clean, so I'm doing that myself. Um, it's also, I hadn't cleaned it for like four months and it was so disgusting that I was just a bit embarrassed to get anyone else in to clean it, although presumably professional cleaners have seen some real messes, but I'm going to do a superficial job of cleaning it myself and then move on with my life. Uh, we think the movers, who are very efficient, might have packed Lackey's shoes, so he's going to have to cycle down to the new house in his socks. Uh, or he's going to have to ask them if they pack them where they are, but I don't know how we're going to do.